Wowie wow wow, the wilderness of Colorado. A land of enchantment so beautiful, it took my breath away. No, seriously, hand me an oxygen tank. For anyone coming from essentially sea level like myself, there was definitely an elevation adjustment period. The air here is quite thinner than what I'm used to back in New Jersey, especially when climbing to heights above 12,000 feet. So let's get started with this strenuous 17 mile out and back backpacking trip from Maroon Lake to Snowmass Lake in the Maroon Bells Snowmass Wilderness. Before we hit the trail, a few helpful tips. Firstly, start this trek early to avoid Colorado's infamous afternoon thunderstorms. Make sure to cross the pass by noon as no one needs to be completely exposed at 12,000 feet when lightnings are coming. One of my nightmares. Secondly, this trail sees heavy traffic, so don't be surprised if you find yourself hiking with a crowd come weekends. Also, be sure to stay on the trail, honor campfire restrictions, use established campsites, and as always, leave no trace. Thirdly, you'll need an overnight permit for your vehicle and to pay the entrance fee at the ranger station before commencing your trip. Fourthly, bear cans are required. Shouldn't have to tell you why. You may ask how I survived Colorado being terrified of thunderstorms and bear encounters. All I can say is the jaw-dropping scenery was well worth the brief moments of anxiety. Okay, getting back to business here. So, you'll begin this hike at the Maroon Lake Trailhead outside of Aspen. From this dazzling starting point, you'll sign up for your backpacking permit, which is free, and start your climb through the equal parts Aspen Rich and Rocky Valley. After admiring the view along this section of trail, you'll arrive at a trail junction at 1.7 miles, where you'll hang right to continue your ascent. So off we went up the rapid climb along Mini Ha Ha Gulch, though there was nothing ha ha funny about this incline. There is 3,000 feet of elevation to gain before the pass. But don't worry, there will be plenty of wildflowers and magnificent scenery to keep you distracted. Onward you trek until the white snow lingering atop Buckskin Pass peaks over the horizon. Since we hiked in mid-July, the wildflowers were gray. The meadows surrounding Buckskin Pass were blanketed in multi-hued jewels of beauty beckoning you toward the top. Now for one of my favorite moments of the trip. The big reveal. Once you reach the pass, look out for Jasmine and Aladdin to fly by as a whole new world is presented to you. Having been completely hidden from you just a moment before, it's rather startling to see just how vast this wilderness is. So you've made it! A little past the halfway point. See that lake out there? Yeah, that's where we're headed. After a brief break, we began our descent down from the pass through windswept fields and into a truly soothing meadow of wildflowers and pines. You then continue following the trail as it steeply then gradually makes its way down toward a beaver dam created swamp stemming from Snowmass Creek. Further still, you'll cross Snowmass Creek, a good place to filter water if you're out, make your way back into the forest, follow signs for Snowmass Lake, and eventually arrive at your destination. Take a look at that peak. Interestingly enough, the quote-unquote Snowmass Peak you see from Snowmass Lake is actually not a peak at all, but part of Hagerman Mountain. Fun fact! Now it's time to locate a designated campsite, unpack, and settle in for the evening. We found a rather spectacular site that had outstanding views of Snowmass Peak. I couldn't get enough. After admiring the sunset, we tucked ourselves in for the night only to awake at daybreak to an enrosadiered Snowmass Peak, glimmering in the rising sun. After fighting the impulse to abandon the real world and live here forever, we packed up and set off back from whence we came. As the morning sun drenches the land in liquid gold hues, it'll feel as if you're hiking an entirely different trail than before. Even though, spoiler alert, you're not. This gorgeous light makes climbing up the trail an enchanting experience. After following the trail for a few miles, Buckskin Pass comes back into view, as well as some epic marmot viewing. You'll climb through the changing colors of the earth with Snowmass Peak in the background, hey, and eventually cross back over Buckskin Pass. After admiring the trail from the pass as it winds down, 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 you'll continue your descent down from Buckskin, past Minnehaha Gulch, through the Rocky Valley, and finally arrive back at Maroon Lake where you began. I hope you enjoyed this backpacking trip in the Maroon Bell Snowmass Wilderness of Colorado. Until next time, happy trails!